manager, not that we, we, no, no one has the right to uh, write this DC up, only the clinical data manager. And then data coding means we all know data coding, but uh, there are so many dictionaries available to encode the adverse events and all. And then data review, oh, it's a quality check. They will review all, uh, they will uh, review all the data. And then they will check uh, if the data is entered is manually. Uh, they will check the uh, all the data that collected based on protocol or not. They will check like that. And then SAE reconciliation is just nothing but serious adverse event reconciliation. They, uh, they will uh, we have one data collected from the clinical trials. They will compare the data with the standard uh, drug data. Okay, if there are any, uh, they will check. Uh, we have two data. They both are consistent or not. Okay, uh, they will check the standard data with the uh, uh, collector data we have. And then they, after the reconciliation, uh, next phase is steady closer. Uh, all the, all these processes uh, will be over, and then they transfer the data. They will transfer the data to uh, next level. This, uh, then quality of database lock means uh, the database lock is to ensure that there, there will be no manipulation of data. Okay. Uh, once the database is locked, no one has the right to change the data. The data. That's the main thing. Then it's the interview question, guys. Uh, they will ask what is soft lock and hard lock of data management. So she went for Narita's interview as well. So her entire focus is interview questions, guys. <laughs> Not it now. <laughs> this is all the questions. And this is how you learn because each batch you are all right now in this batch. These people will all go for the interview. Like she just attended two days back. She attended for SAS. Okay. So she's uh, telling you all these questions only when you understand from that perspective. Because you think, okay, study closer. All these things. Topics. When you know uh, these are all the important questions for CPU. I'm studying also everything in SAS. See, whatever you went for was SAS. Actually, I asked the, the clinical data management and they told like this focus, uh, the focus is mainly on FTTM. And then uh, after data based block, uh, the, this is the uh, end phase, this is the end phase of uh, CDM. After this, uh, the, this is the steady close of it. Once the data is locked, it, it will be transferred to the sponsor and, uh, and then the process of CDM will get over. Okay, this is the main part. 20 and, uh, 21 CFR part left. This is the rule uh, to ensure that all the data or uh, all the data are collected is, ba uh, is based on the uh, uh, regulatory uh, standards. Not regulatory standards, uh, it's based on the regulatory rules. Okay, in in CIA, in ECR, now we should not collect the data, we should not collect unnecessary data. Okay, we should collect unnecessary data and also we should not collect any one single unnecessary data. That's the main thing. This rule is mainly ensure that uh, in all the necessary, uh, all the uh, uh, legal uh, parts are available in the electronic ECR. Because in many, in many uh, study, they will inform the consent, you know. They will inform the subject before the study starts. They will inform if anything happened. It's just, it's just a legal process. It, it, this ensures that all the legal process, all the legal statements are uh, present in the electronic uh, record. This is the ECR format. This is the main focus on 21 CR for part 11. This is the one, this is the rule for ECR, not ECR, electronic records. Okay, this is the, this is This is the tools available. This is the tools we are now using to clean, analyze, and process the data. Uh, this is the data management tool, MS Excel, Access in MS Excel. You know. Oracle Clinical is used to uh, um, convert ECRF into data database level, data uh, level, the Oracle like that. The clean channel is the uh, uh, common tools to clean the data.